First Lady Jill Biden sat down with the Associated Press and uh, the reporter was asking her, was, is Joe going to run? What's going on? Because we've seen recently in the news there have been reports that uh, the Democrats are planning an alternative because they don't want Joe to run. Well, uh, Jill gave the best answer, non-answer that she could give, I guess. Watch. Is there any reason for any of us to think that he is not running again? We've heard him say several times that it is intention. It is his. Are you not believing run. this, Darlene? <laughs> I mean, how many times does he have to say it until you believe it? So he, then, oh, our, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, he's, he says time. he's not done. He's not finished mm -hmm. what he started. And that's what's important. And I think, uh, mm. look at all. Please, God, that don't Joe finish it. Has, don't finish what you started. Has done, has accomplished. I mean, he brought us out of the chaos, and he did that. Did he, he was elected because people wanted steady leadership, mm -hmm. and I think they saw that in Joe, and they saw his character, they mm. saw his integrity. Mm. And he came into office. He knew, you know, what he wanted to do. And he knew people Didn't were he? suffering from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And people, I mean, I was going and pass, passing out food boxes. People were starving. Mm -hmm. They didn't have food. And mm -hmm. people were afraid. There was such fear. And, mm -hmm. um, and so he came up with the American Rescue Plan to help kids get back to schools. I mean, he's done oh. so much. And um, Darlene, he's just not done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So is all that's left at this point is just to figure out a time and place for the announcement? Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. A little, a, little, a little spousal desire there. That's yep. her prerogative. It's her agenda. She will mm -hmm. run Uncle Joe into the ground as long as she can be the first lady. And when she says he's not done, she's not lying. He's not done with the globalist plan right, yet. Right, right. He has not yet ticked all the boxes that uh, Davos and uh, the World Economic Forum requires mm -hmm. of him and his friend, the former president. Yeah, he hasn't that gotten us the, into no, a no, war. No, no, no. we're not in a war, war yet. yet. All children are not sexualized yet. Right. We're not completely abandoned the Constitution, at least yet. Mm -hmm. The criminal justice system is not quite broken enough yet disproportionately for black Americans, I will say. Mm. Hello. You know, maybe there's another 500 kids that's not yet fatherless. So I guess he still has a little bit left to do. We're not eating bugs yet, Eric. Also, I don't know if you guys realize this, the, uh, the Democrats, the, the president, Joe Biden, was the one who wanted to get kids back to school. Strange. I seem to recall... <laughs> The yeah. Democrats constantly it's, pushing it's, for kids yeah. to stay out of school. Yeah, it's like uh, robbing someone and then, like, giving them their stuff back and telling them, like, yeah, you must thank me for robbing you in yeah. the first place. Right. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Look, man, uh, every time I hear people talk about, like, the presidency, especially in this capacity, you keep talking about you or you hear these guys talk about, well, they're doing this and we need to do that and we're trying to do this. And I think that's the fundamental issue with not just government in general, but especially at that level is, like, I don't personally, and I think a lot of people would agree, the whole promises thing is the issue. Mm -hmm. the, the issue is that you inject yourself into things that you should not be injected in. And that in itself creates a whole heap of a bunch of different issues, whether it be in other people's affairs as well, which is really what the president is in, in charge of, per se, being the commander in chief. That's really all of his actual job is, is pertaining to like foreign affairs and all of that. And yeah, so what happens is, is you inject yourself and through your leadership, let's say in a situation with Russia and U Ukraine, where you're spending billions upon billions of billions and advocating that that be done uh, to them, to, to aid them in whatever issues it is that they are, are going, uh, are having going on. But that whole concept of this constant, like just, oh, we're trying to help and we're, we, need, we need to do this and we're doing that, I think speaks to the issue of government in, in itself. Mm -hmm. And I think what, will they win? Who knows? The people that run on the platform of I promise to do the least are the people that I'm more intrigued by, more interested in, mm -hmm. as opposed to the person that is trying to pretend as if he can't even 
uh, potentially save my life. Because the more actions that you do, the more it costs. And the more it seems to come out of my damn pockets, uh, de definitely as you grow in, uh, in, like, let's say, transfer economic classes and, and you have any level of growth, they're expecting more money from you, especially the federal uh, government. And you see what spending efforts as far as them signing off every bill that the Congress, let's say, pass, even if it says, hey, we don't have this money, we're not going to account for this amount of money, but we're going to spend it anyway. Yeah. And then they just sign it and it's like, oh, hey, let's go on and we devalue money. And then we got record, record inflation. They're all in on it. So why don't we get a crop of guys that just say, all right, I, I don't want to help you. I'd be far more intrigued by that. Stay out of your way. Yeah, that's all I, that's all I can ask. To me. Sarah's point, though, it's, it's, it's deep in the Republican Party, too, Eric. They, oh, yeah. want, they want a White House to run their daily lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. Our government was not set up for that. That's what makes this country so beautiful is the president should not be in your daily life, either side of the, yeah. of mm -hmm. the aisle. Mm -hmm. Okay, You should be in charge of your family. You, you should have that autonomy, and that's why we set up in the states, and even at a state level, I don't want to have it in my life. <laughs> I got okay? you. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so, but it's almost like we're begging for it as a culture on both sides. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the president, whoever that may be, will fix it. Yeah. That dude should be so far removed, whoever he is, from your, how you run your family, that you couldn't even find him. Yeah. Even if I concede it, like the point of like the minarchist, as I always say, is who thinks that like, okay, government... Uh, should be there just for like security purpose purposes, even if it was limited to exactly that, right? So if it was borders or mm -hmm. something like just for the sake of we'll, we'll address that problem like after we get rid of everything else. But if right. we did get rid of everything else and it was left to that, people's tax bill would be significantly less. But that's the that's the issue right there is right. that the government itself is in everything, the welfare state education, mm -hmm. everything. And they, of course, because they're not producers, they have to steal from the individuals or print the money, which devalues your money in the first place uh, in order to accomplish that. So even if I concede at that point, it's not my position, I want to be clear, but just for the sake of, con yeah, that's better, obviously, than what we have now. Okay, let's work towards that. Because people always talk about, uh, you know, the borders and as far as the like security. Okay, cool. Let's talk about, let, let's, let's say that the government continued to spend money on that. If we got rid of everything else, you're cutting a bill in half by like three quarters. Mm -hmm. Man, they spill trillion, literal trillion dollars on welfare statism. Yeah. The federal government, that is. I, um, you know, I liken it to, so my uncle um, died from ALS years ago, and I always remember talking to um, the head of the ALS organization, the nonprofit, and he always was like, literally my goal is to is to work myself out of a job like i we want to find a cure right i don't want to have to be doing this i i uh, my whole goal is to be out of this job because there's no need for it because we find a cure it's like similar to you know the government positions of just right. like i want someone who goes in there like I, let me be in charge of the Department of Education so I can burn yeah. the yeah. whole sucker down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's who I want yeah. in yeah. charge. Yeah. If you like that clip, there is plenty more where that came from. Click the link in the description below to subscribe to the News and Why It Matters YouTube channel to watch the full episode.